I Want a New Love. It's kind of like the Huey Lewis song, I Want a New Drug, only in this case, it's I want love. I need love. I choose love. How do I create having love with somebody that I'm seeing from afar or just out of thin air? This is Susie, your beautiful swan queen. Welcome back to the garden, my beautiful ducklings. Subscribe, smash the like button, share my videos, and I promise I love you forever. So how do we create love if we are drooling over the barista at Starbucks or the guy across the, the way in the office, or we don't have anybody in mind? So in the Starbucks and the office person, we know what they look like, but maybe we don't physically know them. So what do we want to do? We want to start with what I would say your list. And you know I hate homework, but I'm going to give you a list homework. What are the qualities and characteristics you want this person to have? So I'm drooling over the barista. Well, one, you know he obviously makes the most amazing cup of coffee. And I'm going to be in heaven for the rest of my life because he is awesome when it comes to making coffee. That's a characteristic and a trait that I would want, especially drooling over a barista. Now, the guy in the office, I don't know if he makes good coffee. So I would have to put that on my list. So I'm going to get out my little trusty purple pen because I do everything in a purple pen pretty much. Unless somebody's hit all my purple pens. And I go through when I do characteristics. Now the givens are honest, trustworthy, faithful, appreciative, respectful, um, Things that are not given, do they, make they, do they make you laugh? Are they adventurous in the outdoorsy type? Are they a computer geek? I mean, I would love to have a computer geek. Somebody who can teach me how to possibly do better videos or do cute little things on my videos and make them look like a video game. I don't know, just a thought. What are the things that are going to rock your world? Are they romantic? Are they great in bed? Uh, do you have an over-the-top sex life? Do you go and um, party? Um, do you go dancing, play pool? What exactly you want this person to be? Because when you start that list and you create from scratch, that's what you're creating. I want this person who is tall, blonde, absolutely gorgeous, has abs that go for miles. You can be that specific. I mean, my body, my 400 pound friend who dated the bodybuilders, she was specific. I date bodybuilders. But she wasn't specific in the characteristics that she wanted those guys to have. She was specific in what they did for her. They waited on her hand and foot. They loved her because she said they loved me. If you are creating that, that's great. But you want it long term. So long term, you want to be able to have conversations with them. How do you want those conversations to go? Are they going to be deep debates as in religion or politics? Or are they going to be more on the fun side? Are those conversations going to be generic, blissful? Are they going to be romantic? You want to get your piece of paper and your pen and write out every aspect of that relationship that you truly truly want because when you do that you are creating to minion dave the type of person he is delivering to you so don cannot bring out somebody that you truly want if you're going you know if you want me to date you're going to knock on the door we all know they knock on my door but if i'm not specific those relationships are not working so why is the relationship not working? Because I'm not saying the guy who knocks on my door is tall, blonde, blue-eyed, totally ripped bodybuilder, 
absolutely gorgeous, has a voice like Vin Diesel that just knocks my socks off, and he is loving and romantic, and he brings me wonderful little gifts. He listens to me talk for hours on end, and he never tells me I need to shut up. Those are things that can be deal breakers in a relationship. If he's coming to you for help, is he taking your help and advice? I mean, we're manifesting kings and queens. If this person is coming into our life and is like, well, I want you to help me grow. And then when you give them advice, they go, that's not going to work. That's being disrespectful, especially when you are a life coach, you are very deep into studying the law of attraction, Neville Goddard, or anybody else that you're following in the manifesting community. So once you get that list of qualities and traits and characteristics of what they are, yes, you can be specific in the look. My dream guy is tall, blonde, blue eyes. But the guys that I date, because I was learning what I liked and didn't like in a relationship, are tall and they have dark hair. I am testing them so that I can create my perfect blonde. Think of Bo Duke. I grew up watching Bo Duke and he is absolutely gorgeous. I love John Schneider and his character Bo Duke was absolutely gorgeous, a little ditzy, a little over the top and not really what you would call husband material because as soon as you turned your head, he was going to be checking out the other girls in the boar's nest and you don't want that for a husband unless you don't mind he does that. Me? Yeah, I do. You might do that when we're not together, but you definitely don't need to be doing that in front of me. So those are things that is on my list. Now I have my list, I have my look, and because I now have my list and my look, I can literally go and walk around and ask the simple question, why am I happily married? Because this person meets all the characteristics, the traits, and the physical attributes that I want in a relationship. So now the barista at Starbucks that I am absolutely drooling over who is gorgeous, all right? He may not be a millionaire and some of you are going, well, why would you pick the barista? You don't know the barista is not a millionaire. He may just love making coffee for people and this is how he fills that need to help people by making them the most amazing cup of coffee. The doctor has a different need that he is fulfilling. So if you want your doctor, Dr. Jared, to be absolutely amazing and meet those characteristics, you can say, my guy is an amazing doctor. He is compassionate and giving and he always gives that extra for his patients, but what he does even better than that is go the extra 10 miles for me. Because as much as he loves his patients, I am loved even more. Because doctors give so much to helping others that we may feel neglected as their spouse. So you have to create that as their spouse, you are their ultimate gift the ultimate prize in their reality and that their giving to you is above what he does or she does for their patients. You want a lawyer. They like to debate. I mean, honestly, I'm going to be straight up. That's what they do in the courtroom. So you're going to want to know that when they come home, they're going to debate you or they can relax and they can just have fun outside of the courtroom because you bring out that adventure in them that they don't get in the courtroom. So we're playing with all of those things. And now when we get that specific list of what we want, you can do like it does in the little book. Um, it's a little red book, I believe. I'm not 
100% sure on that. I was wrong the other day on who Monica married. Sorry about that, friends. I watch it kind of with my daughter, so I know who the characters are. I like Joey, the Italian. So he's the one I really pay attention to. The thing is, I know my type and I know what I like. So now I can read that list twice a day, three times a day, and say that, you know, the universe is creating this amazing person that meets all the qualities and characteristics and traits on my list. And then I can walk around and just go, why am I happily married? How did I get so lucky and meet the most amazing partner just by reading my list because I've made my list and I actually read my list I can use that as the answer to my question as a result the universe is going to deliver that but I have to talk about how I have an amazing relationship even though it's not here and I have to say that the universe is delivering this exact person to me that meets and exceeds my list and I want it to exceed my list because when I am making that list there's going to be things that I'm going to forget like I want my guy to be an amazing cook so even if I know the guy that I'm dating he cooks it's okay I can amplify his cooking. I can amplify his bedroom skills. I can amplify him making me laugh because my words and my state will drive him to meeting that new expectation. So you're always going to be talking about amplifying, not creating. Because if I am manifesting, I don't have. If I'm creating, I don't have. So I have my list. I'm now amplifying it into this specific person that the universe is going to deliver to me. So I don't like manifesting. I'm amplifying my life to create even more fun and adventure. My guy has to be adventurous because I'm the serious one in the relationship. Being a Libra, they talk about the scales. I have found that I need balance. And because I am serious, I dot the I's, I cross the T's, I'm a neat freak, I have OCD, and I own my OCD and love my OCD. My guy needs to be more outgoing, adventurous. He needs to be a little bit more over the top. Otherwise, I'm going to be like what we think of as the computer geek, except I'm not a geek. I'm just the computer wannabe. And when you think about the things that you have in your life, they're enriching it, adding value. And enriching it means making it better. Adding value, it is bringing things to the table that you don't have, and that value enriches your life. So we're creating just by reading this list over and over again. I love the why am I happily married and I will tell you guys you need to turn into Smurfette and say why am I happily married. If you are a guy, uh, Brainy Smurf, Papa Smurf, whichever one you want to be, but you are going to ask this question for the rest of your life. Why am I happily married? And you can answer it. Why am I happily married? How did I easily get happily married to the most amazing person in the world just by asking this question? And there again, your list is why they are amazing. And you're going to just continue to focus on these qualities are coming. They are on their way to you. They're being delivered. They're coming now because we only live in the now. So when you close your eyes and you think about your list, you are saying that person is on the way to me now. They are coming. I am getting this amazing relationship because they are coming. I got this amazing relationship because right now they are knocking on my door and they are introducing themselves and they are showing me how much they enrich 
my life. And I like that word in rich because rich means I have lots of money. So think of them in terms of you just won the lottery. You have this amazing person and at first you're thinking it's too good to be true because they're checking off everything on your list. And when you get to the end of it, you're going to be like, you know what? I asked the universe delivered, and it is absolutely amazing. I love it, and life is blissfully happy because of that. You want to keep those feelings in the forefront when you are creating the new love because you don't have an existing feeling for somebody, so you're just putting it out there general, specific. You're giving characteristics, qualities, traits, things that you want to be able to do in a general manner, very specific, so that Dave knows what to take off the shelf and put into this beautiful person. Then when they show up, because Dawn delivered it, you know that this person is there. Now, I use the name Jared. You can pick a name that you love. You can name your person Jared and a Jared meeting those qualities and traits will show up. If you like the name Sophia, you can give your girl that name Sophia. You can name her Jessica Rabbit. You just have to keep persisting in that assumption until it hardens into fact. You create whatever you want. But you got to remember, wanting and having are two different things. Creating and bringing it to you are two different things. So you've created it by making your list. You're amplifying it by now bringing it into your life. You guys have an absolutely positively amazing day. I love you. Subscribe, smash the like button, share my videos. And as always, tell me how what I'm sharing with you is drastically changing your life for the better.